This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. A hat trick of defeats for the third straight year. Kentucky defeats South Carolina last night's 17 to 10 win gave the Big Blue Nation a little more hope as the football cats get back to 500 on the season. All the cats did was run, run, run in the fourth quarter. They ran 21 plays. All of them were runs, including Benny Snell's go ahead touchdown to give the cats the lead for good. You might point out the 2014 win over South Carolina as Stoops biggest win, but last night he says oh, this one may top it. You know, they're all, you know, they're so tough. You know, they're tough. They're tough. It's, it's not an easy business, and uh, that's okay. We know what we're in for. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big one. It, it is. I guess you could say that. We're in year four, and, and uh, we all know what comes with it. The, heat, the heat's always on, and, and uh, you know, so, you know, comes with the territory. So it was a, it was a, bit, it was a needed win, yes. I go back to Wednesday after practice when Stoop said if his defense didn't grow up quickly, quote, we're going to look like the same bunch of crap, end quote. Well, the Kentucky defense was probably it's the best it has been all season, coming up with crucial sacks and tackles for loss when the Gamecocks were trying to move down the field late in the fourth. I just wasn't going to let them accept it on, on Wednesday. It wasn't that it was just totally, you know, but, but it's not okay. The way we've been playing, it's not okay. You know, every opportunity we go out there and practice is to get better. We don't go out there just to kill time. And, uh, you know, when I see some of it, they, they just, they, again, they mean well. They just need, they need you know, pushed. And, uh, and um, you know, we, we need the discipline and we, we need to approach every practice and every play because you never know what one play is going to make a difference in a game. And uh, so I think our approach has been better. All right, now the Cats head down to Tuscaloosa to face the defending national champs. Kentucky takes on number one ranked Alabama next Saturday night, 7 o'clock kick on ESPN. Bama has not lost to a SEC East team since 2010 against South Carolina. Well, the Brass Lantern is back in Barberville. Last night, the Union Bulldogs defeated the Cumberland's Patriots in a very high scoring game. The 94 combined points equals the highest scoring game in the history of the rivalry. Union senior quarterback Chandler Whittlesey threw for over 300 yards for the fifth time in his career. He went down late, but he's okay and he's happy. I want to give all thanks to God. He's made this possible. Um, but at first, I mean, yeah, I went down and I was thinking like, man, I don't want to, you know, I want to put it all in line for my teammates. And we went to the sideline, everybody picking me up, it's going to be okay. And even when we went down a couple by 10, I think I have, it was just so much focus and faith and we were, we were good. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed with happiness. Uh, the, the team, um, I don't know what to say. It's, it's just, it's really amazing. And congrats to the dogs. Well, the Cincinnati Bengals spent the first two weeks of the NFL season on the road, so their home opener coming in week three, and they were hosting the Denver Broncos today. Broncos, they have a first-year quarterback, Trevor Simeon, first road game in the NFL for him. First quarter, no score, first and goal, Jeremy Hill, poof. Right up the guts. 7 nothing Bengals. Now 7-3 in the second quarter. It's third and five, Simeon. He goes deep to Emmanuel Sanders in the end zone for the Broncos touchdown. And of course, he's going to twerk a little bit. Oh yeah, the Bengals though, they march back down. Hill again, he had 17 carries, 97 yards of the day. He's the only one that scored a touchdown for Cincinnati though. 30 seconds left in the half. Simeon back at it again, right back to Sanders. Seven yard touchdown, they led 16 to 14 at the half. Fourth quarter, Simeon to John Phillips. That's touchdown number three on the day for Trevor Simeon. And then this one with under five minutes to go in the game. Simeon goes long, 55 yards to Demarius Thomas. Now that was a dime piece of a pass right there. He was 23 of 35, 312 yards, four touchdowns. Bengals dropped to one and two on the season. LSU head football coach Les Miles fired along with his offensive coordinator Cam Cameron. We'll have much more on that coming up tonight at 11. That's sports and we'll be back.